Hey guys and welcome to our Chelsea career mode. I know it's been a while since I've recorded one of these. Um, even though it might actually go up kind of like uh, quick after part 16. Because I actually recorded that quite a while ago, a little while ago, but I haven't actually edited it yet. yet. But I'm planning on getting that up later this day while I'm recording this. So this might go up quite quick. Even though I said I haven't actually done a recording for this for a little while. Because I actually haven't, yeah. I'm going to try and get the FIFA back up and running. I'll try and get it up at least once every two days for you guys. Because, uh, obviously, I like playing FIFA myself anyway. Obviously, I've been a bit distracted, you know, starting with starting with the walkthroughs I'm doing now. But, um, yeah, that may uh, come to a little halt as well, because I am going away in, uh, in June for two weeks. So that might, you know, uh, like walkthroughs and stuff might come to a little halt then for a little while. But, yeah, I do plan on doing more. But yeah, we're back on the FIFA. We're back with Chelsea. We're back with, uh, I believe this is episode 17 of the career mode. We've got what first win. We're on Boxing Day. Um, obviously, Hazard's out for the, well, for the season with that seven months injury to his uh, ligament. I think it was his cruciate anterior ligament, I think it was. Seven months injury. So yeah, we're going to start cracking on with FIFA again and the Wolfsburg one. I was planning on doing the on alternate days, like Chelsea one day, then Wolfsburg, then Chelsea, then Wolfsburg. But I'm not sure how it's going to go. So it might could be Chelsea, two days later Wolfsburg, two days later Chelsea. Could go like that because we're doing walkthroughs at the moment as well. But I want to try and get a FIFA video up every day as well, go along with the walkthroughs. I'm trying to make some changes to make that happen uh, so I can do that for you. You know, get more organised. So yeah, so let's get straight into this one. We've got Watford at home in the Barclays Premier League. Obviously, this Karimo is still on world class. We might up it next season to legendary because we seem to be doing really well at the moment. And um, we're going to keep that team. We are going to keep that team. We're going to go straight into it. Mike D is the ref. Let's go. Okay, here we are, guys. Home at Stamford Bridge to face Watford in the Barclays Premier League. Let's kick this off. Let's go. We need to get a win here. Well, I mean, we don't actually technically, you know, completely need one. But, you know, it helps a great deal towards our title ambitions. I'm going to play it straight down to Bellerin. This is, a, oh, this is almost an incredible start. Bellerin's going to go for goal. Can he get his one goal of the season? No, he can't. That's a great tackle there. That's a great ball. Oh, my God. I didn't expect it to do that. I was, didn't know why I shot in the first place. And I did not expect that. That's a great save by Gomez, though. That's a great start from us. Absolutely brilliant pass by William. Let's put this one. Can we get anything on that corner? No, but it's came out. We do get ahead on there. That's my Seager. That's William. He flicks past it. Oh my god, ref, that's nearly a penalty. William! We've taken the lead. <laughs> Early lead, 1 0. He always took us out there for a penalty. Well, I thought William could have gone over his leg and got a cheeky penalty for it. You know, just left his leg, leg gone over. He didn't. For once, the only probably Brazilian ever to stay on their feet in the box and not go over trying to get a penalty. And we've only gone and done it. We've taken a one-goal lead against Watford. Early early times, early stages. I don't know what I said early times. Try and get Sanchez. Oh my god, we missed. Oh my god, we missed. <laughs> that, is, that is OP as anything. That free kick move. It's so OP. It's impossible to defend, and we missed our chance there. Sure, Watford have got Catamol, but Kennedy's there. And Bolo, Willian, Willian can't miss this. Willian doesn't miss this. He's not going to miss that. After, that could be his 10th goal of the season. That might be his 10th goal of the season. He is absolutely astonishing. He's always in the right positions. He's always there. He's always. He's never missing. It's always going in the back of the net. That's how much confidence I have for him, especially winning one-on-one. -on -one. Just wait for him there. I believe mean, Watford by is deservedly 2 0. Let's go, Bellerin. Let's go. Let's go, Bazaar. Pogba. Mbolo. Bazaar. Here he is. Through on goal. Strikes him off. That could have been a penalty and a foul and a red card. Doesn't matter. Bazaar's got all the way. <laughs> Absolutely scintillating stuff here by Chelsea. We are on absolute fire. We're 3 0 up and it's only just on the half time. We are going to absolutely demolish Watford here. Better ends out there. Oh, they just they just got they just don't know what to do when they get near it. And we've tackled, and this is Kennedy. And that's through. And this is Mbolo. Mbolo to make it four. Mbolo makes it four. After 55 minutes, I don't know where Watford's defence was. Well, it hasn't been the whole game, to be honest. 
but we now lead 4-0 and we're only 10 minutes into the second half. This could be an absolute whitewash. I was about to say, that's a bad pass, but we've managed to get that back. That's a good ball. Kennedy, can he make it five? Oh my god, it's against the post. That's, oh my god. <laughs> what was going on there? Although, they are going forward. If we can't get the right play, oh my god, they've gone for a shot. It's gone wide. We've gone off the ball a little bit since going 4 up. I have no idea, ref, because I definitely got hacked down there. <laughs> we definitely got hacked down, but never mind, guys. Good job that didn't affect the result. We weren't drawing or losing by a goal. Or just draw, yeah, to try and win a game or scrape a point because, yeah, I don't know how that wasn't a penalty. Is there a re? Uh, that is a replay of it, is there? No. Oh, right, never mind, guys. Look at that. Watford only had two shots, and they should have scored on a couple of occasions. Just completely messed it up, and that summed them up. Just no, no. I don't know the word this just, but just nothing in front of goal. No creation, nothing, and attack them all the time. And when we came forward, we punched them and we scored. And we've won it by f Okay, let's get straight into the um the training. And let's simulate this. Same players. Oh, we've got an eight there for Horny Forbes. Gotta look at Sanchez's stamina, it's 92. Wow. And Ebola gets an F. And so does Bellerin. Brilliant. Oh, and so does that. Oh, brilliant. Three of our players got an F there on training. Nice. What's this message? Oh, it's nothing important. So we're just going to advance, guys. Not very far, because look, we're here already. We've got a Colombia. No, thank you, Colombia. Oh, reach the, what's that? Reach the World Cup final. I can't remember. I don't. I, I saw something about final. But yeah. Okay, here we go, guys. Second game of this episode. 19th of the season. Away against Manchester United. It's going to be a tough game. Look at Dave Blint. Also, from the previous FA Cup final, it's been gone. We'll see. Um, a couple of days ago now, when I'm recording this, Man United, incredibly lucky. I don't think they should have won that. Clap back out that a little bit by making some poor decisions, not playing advantage. And yeah. Because maybe Rooney might have, could have always maybe got a second yet, I don't know. But I don't know what Chris Morgan was doing either on the halfway line. That was stupid. So I don't think he actually needed to do that. But anyway, enough of that. I, think I did want Paris to win that. But fortunately, Man United did. So, and if you are Man United fans, then, you know, no no disrespect meant there. But, you know, just prefer Palace, if I'm being honest. <laughs> That's what I'm sure most people did that day. But yeah, let's go. Away at Old Trafford. Here we are, guys, at Old Trafford to face Manchester United in the Barclays Premier League. Oh, we're in the box. Oh, my God, can we... Oh, oh, that's a, I nearly don't go there by Fellaini as well. Who's only good at elbowing or heading. That's the only things he's good at. Sanchez across to William. William with a fake shot. William's in. William, come on. Oh my god, why did he take two touches? He took one too many touches there. But that's good play. That's Bazura. And that's back to Ebolo. Ebolo's in. Ebolo scored. We've taken the lead at Old Trafford. There's nothing more brilliant in football than taking the lead at Old Trafford. Because no one likes United apart from United supporters. And even they don't even like them because they left the ground and didn't even... Some of them didn't even stay to watch their own team win the FA Cup and lift it. Some of them didn't even stay to watch them lift the FA Cup. Call yourselves true supporters. Them ones are definitely not. Get in there though, guys. We're one up against United. In Bolo. <coughs> okay, here we go. Sanchez. Can we get something out of this? Pogba. Let's cut back. Mbolo. He's had a good start to the game. Kennedy. Ah. He's got it back. Little skill there. Ref. Get off me, Valencia. Mbolo. That's a good turn. Pogba. Pogba. Kerner. Oh, my God. He's hit the post. Can we get there in? Yes, we can. I think that's Bazoor. I think it's Bazoor. It is Bazoor. <laughs> We've got ourselves a rebound goal. We certainly deserve that. What a turn. What a ball. Inside. Almost covered in the far post. Off the post. And I don't know how, why Bazoor is in the penalty box. But it doesn't matter. We'll take it. We've taken a two-goal lead against Man United. We are just far too good for everyone. Far too good. That's beat. Goes from Rooney. Kennedy. And Bolo. That's a good play. This could be Willian's 
Time to shine. Obviously, as you can see, he wasn't actually injured the last game. A couple of step overs inside. Oh my god, blocked by the keeper. Oh my god. Okay, Valencia's coming forward for United. Pogba's on him. Through to Herrera, just down to Rooney. Into the box. Sanchez is going to head that way. Oh my god, why did he move away for it? Why is Mazigo running away from the ball? Should run towards that and just completely smash that clear. But now Man United have got a corner. Let's try and clear that. Let's try and clear that. Let's don't let them. Oh, straight to Courtois. Kennedy, that's nice. That's in Bolo. Ah, oh, man. That should have been over the top. Okay, better in. Through to Sanchez. Sanchez into the box. Oh, my God, what a save. Both keepers called into action there. Oh, goal line decision. Courtois, yeah, he clearly kept that out. In comes the corner. Pogba, that's going to be my head. Oh, it's going to be back to Pogba. Is he, oh, it's going to let go for another corner. Pogba again. Keepers out. Oh, I thought Bellerin was going to nick in and get that. Tono Valencia. Putting on the afterburners. But Aspie keeps out of him and blocks the cross. Oh yeah, considering we're playing Man United, it's only right we talk about the... Uh... Oh my god, they smashed the post! Oh my goodness, see if we can break away here. But yeah, it's only right, you know, as we are playing Man United. If we do talk about the recent news that Marino is taking over as Manchester United manager. You know, I'd like to know what you guys think about that. Anyone that follows football, that's watching, you know... And, you know, knows about Marino, what happened to Chelsea, all that stuff, you know. And now appointed the man manager of Man United. I always knew, you know, he was looking the next he was looking for another job in the Premier League. Because of what happened to Chelsea, I just feel like he wants to prove to everyone that he can still do it in the Premier League. And I think that's why, you know, he's taken this Man United opportunity. And not gone to uh, PSG, which I think he did have offers for. So yeah, but I'd be interested, especially if you're a Man United fan. I'd be interested to see uh, what you think about that. Marino taking over. You know, I think it's an excellent appointment for you. I think he will bring you trophies. You know, I don't know this. I mean, you know, this is my personal opinion. But I don't know if the squad is good enough to win the Premier League. But with Mourinho, anything's possible. As Rooney's in. Ah, but we've got it there. But yeah, interesting to know what you guys think about Mourinho taking over at Man United. And there's going to be some incredible managers in the Premier League now next season as well. Oh my god, the main, I didn't realise Man United Benz, but he flicked that on. Uh, but we've got them now. The fresh Pedro's on. And he's through on goal. This is to make it 3-0 and game set a match. Oh my god, I don't know who that is in goal, but how has he pulled that off? We should have scored there. And Debbie Blint is up front now. Oh, come on, Bolo. You had that. Oh, that's a good tackle. We can break away now. And not like that, we can't. I, I pressed triangle, and I don't know what's happened there. That was a bit of a dodgy pass by Zuma there as well. But it doesn't matter. It's full time. We have beaten Manchester United by two goals to nil at Old Trafford away from home. Not much. Actually, I think... I can't, actually, I can't even remember. I've just played it. I can't remember what happened. But I don't think they were overly, you know, too many chances... Decent chance that second half, but it doesn't matter if we've won by two goals to nil. We took advantage of the great first half we had, and we held shot, held, held, held shop, and stopped Man United from getting in, getting in and scoring, just about. And we've won at Old Trafford by two goals to nil. And that, guys, is going to be it for this episode. I know it's going to try and fit in three games per episode, but this time, I think just for the two, um, I don't know why, I just decided I thought it would be good just to have two games this episode. It's been a while since you know, I've recorded this, so I thought, you know, if we stop with two games, you know, and we can move on from there. We have now played 19 games in the Premier League this season. We are still top. But, and now, we've actually ex extended our lead 
at the top. We're on 49 points. Man City in second on 40 points. Spurs. And then it's an, there's a massive gap down to third as well. Spurs on 32 points. We won 49. And third place Spurs won 32. 17 points separate from third place. I mean, if we don't at least finish second, we're going to have to have had some catastrophic second half of the season. I'm telling you. But, yeah, we are actually halfway through the season as well. 19 games played. That means 19 to go because, of course, there's 20 teams, but you can't play yourself. So, yeah, so we're halfway through the season and we're top by nine points. I wonder if we can extend that by the end. If we keep going this, obviously, if it goes like this for the second half of the season, we will win the, t the league by 18 points and finish on, I believe, 98 points, which would be absolutely astonishing. Results. We need to win 17 out of our 19 games to get 100 points or win 16 and draw one and we will get that 100 point mark. I believe oh, that may be... No, 16 and... No, 16 and 1 will get us 49 points. That's why we're already on 49 points. So we have to win... Yeah, so we need to... If we win 17 games out of our next 19, we will get reach the 100 point mark, which would be absolutely astonishing. But, you know, it's going to be a tough ask. Really tough ask, but we have scored 47 goals, which is unbelievable. And only can see this 16. Let's just have a little quick look at the bottom. Uh, we've got Norwich bottom with 11 points. We've got Sunderland and Palace, 19 and 18. The other relegation spots, both on 17. And then Aston Villa and Swansea both on 18 points. And then just above them, both on 19, Watford and Southampton. So it's quite close down there. And then a little jump up to Bournemouth in 13 for you to get up to the mid-table spots. But no one really upsets there down at the bottom of the table, really. Based on this season, anyway. I mean, maybe you might expect, you know, Palace to do a little bit better because they've got some good players. Maybe even Sunderland. Not too sure. Definitely Southampton though, down in 14. So, but yeah, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We're on fire once again. I'm going to try to get these out more regularly, along with the Wolfsburg one as well. Which, of course, we're going to be playing a legendary. Um, and, yeah, that's it, basically. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. I'm HD Gamer Dan. And I'm out.